So welcome to the next installment of What's Up with the Collaborators. Today I have with me Giuseppe, um, who is a core collaborator. Before we get started, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I'd be happy to. Yeah, um, my name is Giuseppe. I work at IBM. I joined IBM uh, through Strongloop, uh, who were you know uh, key to early development of Node.js. And so um, I was able to get more involved in the project uh, at that time and really focus on open source. And uh, I was a long, I've been a long time community committee member, uh, which is something that we wound down uh, not too long ago uh, in the Node.js uh, uh, community. I also uh, was a part of the small team that merged, helped to merge the JS Foundation and the Node.js Foundation into the now OpenJS Foundation. And out of that work uh, was elected the, the Cross Project Council Chairperson, which is the top level technical advisory committee. Uh, and I continue in that role. It's been a, a two or three years now. And uh, uh, Node.js core collaborator. Yeah, no, it's great. Been working with you on the the OpenJS side. Very important work there. As well as it's great to you know to see the the ComCom members yourself and Tier Tierney, you know, getting involved and continuing to be involved in in some of the the activity within the project, even with the the ComCom having been ramped down. Um, the sort of interesting recent news is you've been nominated as a core collaborator. Uh, you know, we want to tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I've, I've been in the space for a long time, but I don't do a lot of work on Node Core, uh, so I've never needed to be a collaborator per se. Um, but I recently volunteered to be a security release steward. And along with that, uh, you know, I need the, the the admin privileges of the, the core collaborator. And since I've been a longtime uh, contributor in a variety of ways, and even I'm representing Node.js at the OpenJS Foundation, um, uh, I was nominated, and uh, people gave a thumbs up, which is cool. Thank you. Yeah, that was great, and thanks a lot for volunteering to be a security steward. It, you know, it's it's an important role, and I'm quite happy actually that we've managed to get a few companies. Uh, lined up to sort of dedicate and commit the, their people because it's something that, you know, uh, the, the, the steward has to coordinate the security release, not do all the work that, you know, that it takes actually quite a large cast, but it's not something that, you know, you just can do when it's convenient. It's something you have to commit to do when it, it's needed. Um, and it's great to see that companies will, will support their people to do that. We could use a few more. So, um, you know, that's an important thing, but thank, thanks for taking on that role. Mm -hmm. uh, I know um, one of the things, the other things I, I know you've, you've mentioned you've been working on is uh, on the tooling team with the arguments part. So that's kind of interesting. I'd like to hear a bit more about that. Yeah, it's really interesting. And we've been getting uh, a, a lot of interest from the community as well as, as, as things have been taking shape. Uh, the short story is, you know, we had a, a, a bit of a false start a few months ago. Our, our colleague at IBM, uh, Chris Hiller, who left a little bit ago, um, uh, gave a stab at it. Uh, we kind of took a step back. And I worked with uh, Darcy Clark from, from NPM to kind of design uh, a, a good, simple argument parser that we would like to uh, get into node core. Um, and, and, you know, we're not trying to re replace yards or anything like that. We just want to have some uh, basic functionality out of the box uh, for folks to, to, to take advantage of. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's taking shape. We're, we're hoping to propose it uh, in the, the, the coming weeks. Um, check out pkgjs is the org on uh, GitHub uh, slash parsargs, and um, you know we've got a few open PRs that we'd love some more input on, and, and we're just uh, we're, we're, we're we're kind of I think nearing the end of that work to be able to uh, introduce it back to uh, Node Core and, and see what the response is there. Well, that that's great to hear. For people who don't know, the pkgs org is another org under the uh, the Node project, and it. it it's a place where we're like we're building some tools, but also incubating some things like the parse, the, the arguments parser there. And so, um, yep. yeah, that's great. To, great to hear. It's, it's you're making good progress. Yep. I know another another area that's that's quite important to the project is your work on the social team. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the social team is really interesting. It's uh, it's basically just me and Tierney, uh, Tierney Siren. Uh, um, you know, also a. Uh, uh, partner in the community committee, a uh, uh, great person, love Tierney. And um, Tierney and I uh, manage the, the social uh, channels. Uh, we primarily focus on Node.js um, and we're very focused on the community. Uh, so we have a few 
regularly scheduled tweets, monthly tweets. One is to thank the, the build uh, sponsors that provide hardware for the build team, which is great. Um, and then another one that we have is a jobs related tweet. So monthly, you know, ask uh, of the community, do you have no JS related jobs? If so, reply to this uh, uh, tweet. And we get a lot of great engagement there. People looking for uh, no JS roles and people who have roles open. Uh, so that's a great uh, benefit to the community. And then we also are trying to make it so that, you know, people can request tweets uh, through the GitHub uh, um, uh, PR process. So if you go to Node.js, github.com slash Node.js slash tweet, you'll see some instructions there. You can open a PR. Obviously, we need to be focused on the community and, and, and providing a benefit there. We're not just going to tweet anything. But, um, you know, if there are certain things that you think would uh, qualify, then uh, by all means, uh, open up a PR. Tierney and I will work on it with you and, and then merge it in and it, and it goes uh, out to the, to the Twitter account. We have, I think, 771,000 followers now, which is, wow. which is really uh, impressive. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fun. That's a, a great, uh, service for the, for the community. Yeah. The, the build one I think is really important. We have lots of great donators and the automation that the, the social team put in place to make sure that that goes out regularly is, has meant it's been much more regular and, and, uh, nobody needs to follow up on it. So I'm, I'm really happy to see that going out. Yeah. And if anybody has any other, uh, you know, things like that, that they think we should be uh, amplifying or thanking, uh, please, by all means, reach out. My Twitter DMs are open or, or open up a PR. Sounds good. Um, so we, we're almost out of time, but before we go, just, you know, what are your thoughts on the, the most, important is most, most important issues that are facing the project or open source today? Yeah, I, I think the obvious one that comes to mind is security. Uh, it's really top of mind for everyone in our community, but also the, the tech uh, sphere overall, you know, all the way up to the White House, which had meetings with uh, foundation folks and, um, you know, people from uh, large companies recently focused on security. Um, and that's something we're really uh, focused on uh, at the uh, project level, as well as the OpenJS level. Um, you know, we have another number of things we're looking at for the project. Uh, but also at the foundation, we're looking to spin up a security focused collaboration space uh, where we can really uh, provide some best practices, uh, build out some infrastructure for the projects uh, uh, and, you know, provide any sort of thought leadership or training or, or any ways that we can help the community and uh, not just our projects, but, uh, but all the projects in the space, uh, if we can be helpful to them in a security, uh, um, you know, around security. Uh, that's the goal of, of this collaboration space that so we're excited to have. We have a draft proposal uh, going and we hope to have that space opened up in the, in the coming weeks. Yeah, I think it's it's great that the OpenJS Foundation kind of can kind of take that on and provide a home for, you know, not not having to have any one project figure out all those answers, but trying to figure out, you know, some good processes, some baseline, you know, good ways of doing things. I think that'll help a lot uh, in terms of, you know, bringing sort of raising the bar without having any one project have to be the, you know, figure it out by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, hopefully a, a rising tide lifts all boats and many hands make light work or whatever <laughs> phrase we want to say. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's all the time we have for, for this time. Uh, thanks for coming to talk to us, Joe. And thanks to everybody who's been watching on the video stream and we hope to see you next time. Thanks, Michael. Cheers. Yep. Bye.